Welcome back to Thunder Sport GB at Brands Hatch on the Indy Circuit. It's the Morello Services GP1s, Superstock Thousands, and Super Twins. Ian Backman, there he is, back as there on the Stock Thousand. Alongside him, Alex Heaton, number 111. Alex, who's been getting quicker and quicker over the last few rounds there on the outside. Uh, 99 is Michael Robertson. Yes, well done, Michael. But uh, it'll be that man, number two, Peter Baker our earlier race winner but he looked in unstoppable form steve when you spoke to him afterwards he's quietly confident now isn't he he looks as happy and as comfortable as he did when he won the championship back in 2009 and that's a dangerous peter baker a good start though from ian mackman who is now level on points with phil crow so yeah those of you that just tuned in uh, to the paul wishart and nick anderson their level in superstock thousands and in gp1 mackman level with phil crow who's not here due to a crash uh, yesterday and uh, he's done some damage to his back and Greg Lewis was involved in that also we send them our best regards. Yes, and uh, they'll surely need it uh, to sit out racing and in some sort of pain is the worst thing for riders is simply want to be out there. Baker though, outside of the front row, got up into second for the first time around Panic and Ben. He, it's a statement of intent, I think, and uh, Ian Mackman will be determined to hold him off Round the Indy circuit, the stock thousands shouldn't be at too much of a disadvantage, but uh, Peter Suzuki is one special piece of kit, isn't it? Look at it round the outside into Druids. It takes something special, that does. Now, these thousands uh, stock machines, of course, on some circuits, you could say that it would be an enormous disadvantage, but around brands, well, yeah, okay, you're, you're losing out on a bit of power, but it, it shouldn't make a whole heap of distance around here. Peter Baker's just riding really, really well. Brilliant start by the returning Rob Ellesmere as well. He's uh, in fifth place at the moment and encouraged by his uh, comeback ride in the earlier race. He's been out for a long time and uh, I think as he said, he's a little bit ring rusty, but one of the uh, most determined customers you're ever going to get. He just absolutely, totally in love with racing bikes. Yeah, he's just up ahead of uh, Dave Twyford at the moment. He'd love, dearly love to get up with these four, but they've all been so quick this weekend. Baker, though, I uh, just can't get over how much of an improvement we're seeing in the latter part of this season compared to the start. It was going so wrong for the Morello Services rider at the start of the round. He couldn't buy a win. Yeah, he got his first win at Sneddon. Since then, he's not looked back. Mackman in second position. There's Mick Robertson, number 99, just ahead of Alex Heaton on the Ducati. Yeah, Alex looking very racy, isn't he? He's right with uh, Robertson there. But uh, can't find a safe way through. Tom Webb just uh, went through there. There's Scott Adam. Uh, he's out on uh, borrowed machinery, competing to get some points in the Super Twins. No Lee Reveley here, of course. Uh, he's pretty much the uh, champion of Super Twins elect, if you like. He's not here this weekend, but he will become uh, the first ever Thundersport rider to have won the same championship three times when he gets to Alton Park. Well, that's uh, an interesting record, too, as they charge down from Druids into Grand Mill Bend and the leaders come through Surtees. Peter Baker just told you, oh, Michael Robertson, that's not the right line to take. He's just uh, clipped the inside at McLaren. Run wide, he's lucky to have some tarmac left, but that is a scary moment for Mick Robertson in third. Yeah, we should mention, of course, again, uh, like Paul Wissart, that we saw in the 600s, that uh, Michael Robertson learning all the circuits as he goes this year, he and Paul Wissart coming south of the border, and uh, this, for them, is stuff they might have only seen on telly before, so they're learning their way round as they go. Didn't stop them being right up the sharp end as far as the racing is concerned. Dave Twyford's got himself up ahead of Rob Alsmere, further behind. Uh, Jamie Wilkins was just behind Duncan Gibson. Duncan, the leading super twin rider, number 268 on a Ducati, having a great ride. There's Charlie Flett about to be lapped here by Pete Baker. There's no looking back here for Baker. He's down in the fifth, 47.8. That's uh, the lap time he just put in a little while ago is about a thousand off Rob uh, Hoyle's lap record, I think, around here. Yeah, it's a, it's a smidgen you think maybe did he, but no, I don't know whether they can get him a signal from the uh, pit lane, but uh, it's a bit hard to say to somebody, can you put a bit of extra effort in? We need another 1,000th of a second, but that actually is all that he's shy of. There we see Mackman being pursued by Robinson, of course, second and third on the track overall, but first and second of the stock thousands. And this Rob Ellsmere once more trying to close down on Dave Twyford. I'm just wondering whether 
Dave Twyford just took a while to get into this race. He obviously didn't get as good a start as Ellesmere, but uh, he's managed to, to get past. Maybe up once more then across the line. Well, he's, uh, I don't think we're going to see a quicker lap from him in this race, but he's, uh, he's still in that kind of country. He's turning on the hot laps and uh, offering absolutely no hope at all to Mattman and Robertson there in second and third place. Yeah, he's got one of those what you call frustrating leads. Mackman can see him. He's about a second and a half up the road, but they just cannot catch him. Uh, at the same time, if Baker was to make a mistake, um, there's, there's plenty of people just behind him to pick up the pieces, so he needs to keep himself composed. As you see, uh, 76, that's Jason Bayard. Look at uh, Rob Ellesmere now. He's trying to find a way through Dave Twyford, but they come upon a slower rider. And uh, Rob was just about to go around the outside, and suddenly there wasn't room for three bikes, and he has to settle back into the line as soon as the leaders once more up the hill. And chasing hard after Peter Baker. There he is, out the front. Into the tricky left-hander, Graham Hill Bend. It's... Uh, a hard corner to get right that one, you've got to pick the right line, otherwise you'll be on the green stuff. Mackman, some laps, looks like he's closing the gap, but then Baker's able to just stretch it out again, so he's in complete control at the moment. I think Ian also knows that just over his shoulder, you know, one twitch and Michael Robertson will be through. Uh, so it's hard to concentrate on, well, hard to work out what to concentrate on most, who's ahead or who's behind. Rob Ellsby, though, got up ahead of Dave Twyford. Yeah, let's not forget, of course, here, Mackman, if he finishes where he is, he's the new GP1 championship leader. And he's also got a Superstock 1000 Cup championship to defend from Mick Robertson as well. So if he stays where he is, um, it'll be, I'm sure he'll be very, very happy. Yeah, Peter Baker, though, at the front. You can see how hard that's a lovely sight. Uh, great shot when you see him coming along, Coop straight, straight towards you. Oh, we've oh. got a rider down there. Yes. And that's Alex Heaton. Alex. On, that's on the exit of Graham Hill, but that's fair way down the Cooper straight. May have just run out of road. Yeah, look at the uh, trace on the track there. I think that's an accident that may have started a long, long way back down the road. And uh, the leaders, meanwhile, coming up to the start finish line in amongst the traffic. And uh, it is still Peter Baker that heads proceedings onto the last lap. It's a shame for Alex Heaton. Hopefully he's uh, he's okay. He looks uh, to have maybe an elbow injury there, but hopefully he'll be back ready for Alton. But what can you say about Pete Baker here? He's going to do a double, and it's the first double we've seen for quite some time here from Pete Baker, and he's put himself well back in the championship hunt here. Yes, he's had to work for it. As I was saying, that shot along Cooper Street, you can really see how hard they work, particularly with the big bikes. It's a very physical ride around the Indy circuit, isn't it? Yeah, no rest at all, and Mick Robertson is trying to sneak up into second position on the last lap. Not quite, but it's going to be Baker that wins it. Fantastic run to the line. Baker, as you say, takes that flag, and look at that. Mackman and Robertson almost side by side, but Mackman just getting the benefit there as they cross the line, and Peter Baker very happy there. Uh, the number two raises the one finger. Peter Baker, the win. Mackman second, Robertson third. Dave Trifer fourth eventually, getting back ahead of Rob Ellesmere, who was fifth, and Jason Bayard.